human beings have a culture and it's based upon the land, the environment, with that landscape comes our identity of how we relate, what kind of relationship that we have to the land. That relationship is through nature. We're still upon the same landscape that our ancestors lived. And you look upon the mountain, you look upon the where the sky and the earth meet on the horizon and you see the line that it makes. And then you think about the earth itself has a skin. And then the skin is the, that life source, the nutrients, the this, this great circle of life that we uh, come to know, that we heard our elders profess, that we, that they heard from their elders, and we are reclaiming that. I guess really important to me is learning the skill and being having having the knowledge to make a deer skin into buckskin, to have it transform. The process starts from shot placement on an animal, and then it goes to skinning. We want a clean skinning job with no knife cuts. If you know it's going to be used for tanning, or you know it's going to be used to make a drum, you know, minimal knife work is good. After you skin it, you flesh it, and you just use your fingers and your fists to pull the meat and the membrane to separate it from the hide itself. So the flesh side is clean, and then we make a bucking solution, and that's basically to help take off the hair and the outer grain. It goes into soak, and we did that overnight. From the bucking, which is the term that buckskin comes from, now we're into the graining stage, which is the step of taking off the outer layer of skin and that takes off the hair and the, the very outer flesh. I guess I would like to say uh, for those who really want to know, that are hungry to learn about it, to not be afraid to ask a question to those that might know or those that know. And in doing so, you know, we you keep your elders, you keep those people that know, you keep them on their toes, you keep those teachers on track. You want the hide a little bit dried out, but not crispy, and it'll just soak up that, that braining solution. The proteins in, that are in the brain, that's also in eggs and various oils and soaps. It's the key ingredient that turns it from rawhide to tanned hide. The aminos bond to the fibers of the skin as you work it and it dries, it becomes soft. Once you went through all those processes and you got it to where it's finished white buckskin hide, then you would get it ready to smoke. Because it's the smoke that will preserve these uh, brain oils and fatty tissue from the brain. Microscopically, it'll, it'll preserve them inside the skin in between all the fibers and it makes it pliable. That way, if it, uh, your hide gets wet, it'll bounce back to buckskin. We feel it's important to uh, be resourceful, you know, with that animal giving his life to us, you know. That also means using the hides and reclaiming that technique and that process to help help us identify with who we are. There's a, a movement being made, you know, to share some of the traditional methods of autonomy. They could light the fire or plant the seed of an, an idea in our young people's mind within our communities. There's knowledge out here that they can find, you know, and search for in looking towards people who know how, looking towards the elders and, and community members who are sharing in the, in the same type of vision. Yeah.